Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I've got some super exciting news to share with you today about a project that's been causing a lot of buzz in the book and film world. We're talking about the upcoming movie adaptation of Colleen Hoover's best-selling novel, It Ends With Us. This is a major update, so grab some popcorn and get comfy because there's a lot to unpack. First things first, the movie is set to premiere in theaters on August 9, 2024, thanks to a collaboration between Wayfarer Studios and Sony Pictures. If you're a fan of the book, you probably know that this has been a long time coming. Justin Baldoni, who some of you might know from Jane the Virgin, is not only starring in the movie but also directing it. The screenplay is being adapted by Christy Hall, and let me tell you, the anticipation is real. So, what's new? Well, Sony Pictures recently announced that the release date has moved from February 9th to June 21st. While we'll have to wait a bit longer, it sounds like it's going to be worth it. Let's dive into the cast because that's what everyone's been talking about. Blake Lively is set to star as Lily Bloom, and Justin Baldoni will play Ryle Kincaid. If you've read the book, you know how pivotal these characters are. But that's not all. Brandon Sklenner has joined the cast as Atlas Corrigan, and we've also got Jenny Slate playing Alyssa, Ryle's sister. And in an interesting turn of events, Hassan Minhaj will be playing the character Marshall. This cast is shaping up to be quite diverse and talented. Interestingly, Shane West might be interested in joining the cast too. After a fan suggested he play Atlas Corrigan on Instagram, he responded with a raised hand emoji. Could we see Shane in this film as well? Only time will tell. Now, let's talk about the author, Colleen Hoover. She has been very involved in this adaptation process. During a conversation at her book Bonanza Festival in Texas, she addressed some of the controversy surrounding the casting choices. Some fans have expressed concerns that Blake Lively and Justin Baldoni are older than their characters in the book, where Lily is 23 and Ryle is 30. Hoover explained that she wanted to age the characters up for the movie to make the storyline more realistic. Apparently, she originally made Lily younger because new adult characters were trending when she wrote the book, and she didn't realize how much schooling neurosurgeons needed. Hoover also shared her excitement about the casting, especially her longtime admiration for Blake Lively since Gossip Girl. She admitted that she's been trying not to get too excited about the project until it's complete, given the unpredictable nature of film productions. Speaking of unpredictable, production has faced some significant challenges. The film's shoot in New Jersey was disrupted due to the Writers Guild of America, WGA, strike. With less than half of the movie completed, the production has temporarily shut down. The WGA didn't agree with the argument that the film's co-financing status with Wayfarer Studios qualified it as an indie film under WGA guidelines, despite the movie being a negative pickup for Sony Pictures. An email from Wayfarer and Justin Baldoni informed the crew about the shutdown, expressing gratitude for their patience and dedication during this challenging time. As you can imagine, the mood on set was a mix of disappointment and respect for the strike. Some crew members were particularly sad because they enjoyed working with Baldoni, while others understood the importance of supporting the WGA to expedite negotiations and get everyone back to work. Despite the hiccups, it seems like the cast and crew are in good spirits, and there's a lot of solidarity with the WGA. We can only hope that the strike resolves soon and production can resume so that we can finally see this highly anticipated movie on the big screen. That's all the latest updates on It Ends With Us. Are you excited about the movie? How do you feel about the casting choices? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.